all right, I learned a little bit more about uh, testing capacitors, so at least I can do a leakage test now. So I'll show you how you do that. Um, we have a uh, um, function that's uh, C for capacitors, and we did that last time. We uh, maximized uh, the uh, 65 tube with a capacitor here. We have this uh, capacitor, which is a uh, one microfarads at 100 volts um, and so we've set this to to uh, the C function uh, we've uh, gone to the ranging and I think last time I was uh, calling these things out this is not millifin this is micro so in the old days they didn't use the uh, mu signal for uh, the uh, uh, Greek characters they just used uh, an M which meant micro so uh, 0.1 micro Henry, uh, microfarads, uh, and here we're reading about 10, so that's the one micro, uh, microfarad. And then over here there'll be a MMF, uh, which is um, micro microfarads. Um, so um, anyway, so we're on the right range. Um, so to test um, a different way, there is a C charge. Uh, as one of the uh, one of the functions, so we'll put it on C charge, and immediately we see this light come on, which means uh, there may be high voltage uh, present uh, on the capacitor, and so uh, we will set the uh, switch here to DC volts. Now we're reading DC volts. Um, so, if we want to test this capacitor at voltage, we can put 100 volts on this capacitor. So, this uh, range of meter is 0 to 500 volts. So, we can uh, use the uh, voltage control knob, uh, stay out of camera range here, and I will increase that. And you can see the meter going up. So, uh, we should have uh, right there, we should have 100 volts now on the capacitor. Uh, so let's let, let's let's see if that's really true or not. Let me zoom out here a bit. Sorry for the camera work. Um, let's use my uh, let's use my triplet meter. Uh, so my triplet meter is set to uh, zero to um, three hundred volts, uh, full range. So if I go across the uh, go across the capacitor here, uh, you can see that we're oops. We're reading about uh, 50, maybe 90 volts. So we could make that a little more accurate. We could up here, up, a little farther down. So that's about 100 volts. And so, yeah, the meter's about 100 volts. So it's about right. So we are getting now 100 volts on the capacitor. And we can go back and we could try to measure the capacitance now with 100 volts on there. Um, and it gives me the same value. Um, nothing, nothing strange going on here. Um, but now we can do a leakage test. Um, so this knob allows us to do a leakage test. When we um, move it, you'll see the meter drop. And so if we're near here, it's 25. So we're reading 0 to 25 milliamps full scale. Let's zoom in on that. So when we're here, we're 0 to 25 milliamps. Now we're 0 to 5 milliamps and 0 to 1 milliamps. So this capacitor is not leaking at all. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a bad capacitor. I'm going to put a 1 um, megaohm resistor across, uh, the, uh, across this. Make sure I don't have any voltage up there anymore. And I do. It's bleeding off. Uh, now have... 50 volts and it's bleeding down, bleeding down. I now have 25 volts. I'm okay with touching 25 volts. So I'm going to uh, attach this little resistor. I'm just going to bend it around the leads here. Uh, all right. So I've just uh, put on a 1 uh, mega ohm resistor across the um, across the capacitor and we'll go back to charge 
Um, so we should now have 100 volts again. Let's double check that. Yes, we have 100 volts. So we can uh, now do a leakage test. Um, we have our 100 volts and uh, we are in the right function. So when we uh, change the switch here, the meter will now read in um, leakage current. So 25, we don't see any needle movement. Five, uh, oh, just a tiny, tiny little bit. And if we go to one, uh, the meter definitely comes up. Uh, so we have, um, let's see, it's one full scale. So this is 0.1 milliamps. We have 0.1 milliamps of leakage current. So we could do the calculation, 100 volts divided by um, 100,000 um, ohms would be one milliamp. And since we have one meg ohm, which is 1,000 uh, uh, kilo ohms, uh, that would be uh, 0.1 milliamps. So. We are measuring leakage current at, at uh, test voltage, so uh, that sounds great.